All right, I'm about to cover the West Orchid and Garden. It's about 3.20 p.m. Saturday, the day after Valentine's Day. And there's a lot of destruction out here from that thing that's called. Let me see if I can get a close-up on it so you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I can get it in there. You see that? You see that white patch right there? That white patch. That is white thrip. I get black thrip. I get white thrip. But this white thrip, they cluster together. And they cause a serious and massive destruction. That's a leaf that I didn't get yet. But I will definitely be getting it. But let me show you the damage it caused this week. Last weekend, it was just as bad. Let me take the zoom off. Here are the cat leaves right here that it attacked. And here are the leaves that have dropped because of that that white thrip. Akiko Sato is in there somewhere. It took almost took it out. I don't know if I'll be able to save it, but I believe that's Akiko Sato and that's a blue grotto. And here are the leaves. I sprayed them again this week with a heavy dose. Now the leaves are are oily. They're very oily. I wasn't putting enough uh what what was I using? Here it is. I wasn't putting enough pesticide on it. But this is what I've been using. Because I have a pet. And it seems to work totally on the thrip, the black thrip. So we're going to see if it's going to work on that white thrip. It's awful. It's awful. It's everywhere. It's on the shelf here. All the cat layers. It seems to just be attacking the cat layer and they're my heart right here's another well that um oncidium i think that's just a regular dieback but here's a cat layer here all the cat layers have been affected by that white threat back there ah booth lee has been attacked i've got i gotta spray that again a, a little more because it doesn't look like the leaves are oily enough but i gotta cover those leaves and uh, this cat, no name, oh, well, I lost a tag during that royal disaster I had. But that's been uh, attacked also. This cat layer here, attacked. All the cat layers have been attacked. So I got to continue. My Digbianas here, all these are Digbianas. And it looked like it's, it's on its way to attack them also. So last week and this week I've been spraying, but I sprayed very light last weekend and now I'm paying the price for it again this weekend because it's still causing massive devastation but I I believe I caught it in time and I I think they'll back, bounce back with uh, with the new growth it's definitely going to set me back back here but um, it's better than having to replenish the stock which I'll probably do anyway but you know I would I just do it on a very sparingly basis like if I see something I want then I pick it up it's not like I'm doing a bulk haul or anything because of because of the devastation so it looks like uh, most of my cats uh, might be saved I'm not sure yet I'm still battling right now we'll see what the fallout is after the leaves stop dropping I mean, they are very ferocious, very. They just, they suck the life out in, in a day or two. And, and normally I'm gone a week away from this, this, these gardens, at least a week. I only come out on the weekend and um, see what's going on. So I'm having to treat them weekly, which is not bad. Uh, but the Brasavolas haven't been attacked for some reason. They don't want them. Here's one here. And there's another one up there in that corner. And those are yellow birds there. And uh, wow. And this cat layer haven't been affected. She looks like she's putting out another bloom spike. Good for her. She's such a reliable bloomer. But I sprayed back there. I'm going to spray again because it didn't look like I, I got that guy. Uh, yeah, I need to spray again. Yeah, it's just not oily enough. 
I need to get these again. So that's what I've been doing back here <sighs> on the West Orchid and Garden. Yeah, killing white thrip because they are they're they're more ferocious than the black ones. You'll see a black one here and there, but the white one they work in clusters. Yeah, they they kill it off real quick. They work in groups. I mean, all clustered together. But yeah, just want to give you an update. I got a beautiful bloom there. Let me see if I can put the zoom on. So it's it's a huge flower. If the lighting is not not that bad, it just opened. Uh, when did it open? Wednesday. This past Wednesday. It's beautiful. It's turned the wrong way. Looks like it has another bud up there. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn it around. Yeah, I managed to turn it around just a little. It's real oily. I've been spraying. It is beautiful. I forget the name, but it's a reliable bloomer. Looks like it has another bud up there. <sighs> what a disaster. I didn't get to this cat here, but I'm going to spray it anyway. Yeah, it's on a piece of cedar shingle. And, uh, I don't know what that is. But I'm going to continue to spring down every continue spring down everything back here <sighs> yeah got a couple of spikes on the oncidium coming yeah oncidium wasn't uh, affected still don't have a bud in this uh digbiana purpurata i mean the sheath is still alive and there's this air pocket in here but it hasn't filled it up yet so maybe i need to fill that in down there with some more stone or something and the other spike it's there to be honest I haven't filled it in yet so but it's still growing because it's now it's touching the shade cloth but yeah yeah phalaenopsis are putting out nice spikes but other than that white thread everything seems to be doing well Yeah. I haven't been staying on top of my game and that's what I get for turning my back. But yeah. Let me see if I I don't want to climb in there now that I've sprayed everything is oily. But it looks like the ant are having uh, a great time. Where's that cat layer? The lenses, looking through these lenses are really um chore yeah and it's beginning to rain again it is it's a lot of beautiful and I, and it is fragrant by the way so but yeah I'm gonna finish doing my job back here so I can enjoy the rest of my day hopefully and uh, try to clean up this floor back here and there's leaves everywhere because once those white thrips get on them, that's it. You can forget it. And you fall asleep on those guys if you want to. You'll wish you never had. And I missed that flower there. It was beautiful. It was like, it was a, more of a red flower. I don't have a tag for it, but it'll bloom again, hopefully, at the end of the year. I see some new growth trying to uh, come out of there, so maybe it'll bloom again for me. <clears throat> yep. It looks like the, the spike is coming along just fine. Absolutely. If you if you guys could see this disaster, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe this at all. Mm-mm. These oncidiums were putting out the and they call it amp ampelatums. Yeah, ampelatum. We're putting out some spikes. I could have sworn I saw spikes. Look, dried up. That one did. Wonder what happened to that spike. Something killed it. Unbelievable. But this spike is still here. It's full of it's full of ants.
eating that happy sap, having a great day. Well, at least I got a couple of spikes coming this year. And uh, Booth Lee back there is putting out a, a new growth right there where my finger is. It never stops. I repotted it. It fills up the pot. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a bigger pot. All right. This is kind of depressing back here today, so I better get with the... Uh, Finishing up uh, spraying those white threads before I lose everything in this garden. And I'm giving this uh, dendrobium spectacularly crossed with itself a chance to grow and do exactly what the beast did before I broke it down because I really don't have the room. I'm going to find a place for them out there on the east garden in a nice shaded spot once the oak tree comes back. You know, I'm not going to just sit it out there underneath all that sun but it's going to be out there on the east garden in a nice little area it'll be it'll do just fine and it'll come back and we'll get to enjoy those spectabilities again yeah there's plenty of room out there it's not very much room back here and that'll be their permanent home yeah so it looks like the tillandsia or air plant from up north from visiting mom seem to be doing well and why not first it was dying out on me so I put it in this basket so it'll be a little airy yeah and it seems to be be coming back fantastic it's doing great but yeah thanks for stopping by in my sad garden and have a great orchid growing day Okay, I'm done spraying all the orchids down on the West Garden due to uh, a white thrip infestation. So I'm going to show you a leaf that uh, I saved for last and uh, show you basically what happened to that white thrip after I sprayed it. There it is. Let me see if I can focus better. Come on and focus. It's focusing on everything but that. But there it is. That's that white thread. Come on. But uh, they died. And I'm hoping uh, that'll happen to to the rest of uh, the white thread in this garden. Because they are atrocious. They don't care. They just go on and on and on. So that's part of some of the devastation there that I've been sweeping up cat layer leaves all weekend it's just disheartening you know your hobbies and you work hard spend money on plants and flowers and just one little tiny bug can come through and just totally kill your happiness yep. but you have to stay on top of it Yep, so we'll see you around when I get some, hopefully some, some sweet scents, <laughs> some little sweet scents because uh, she's budding up on, on both sides of the stem, that's that side, and that's the other side, look like um, this was a good uh, plant here, I think I got this from uh, from an orchid show, my last couple of years ago, I believe. She's just been doing fantastic. And these are her keikis. They haven't done much, but this stem might do something for me. I don't see any indication of buds yet, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna happen. Yeah, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. Uh, take a look at my destruction out here on the West Orchid and Garden and uh, trying to clean up that aftermath. But I'm still having a great orchid growing day and uh, I'll just take one day at a time. Happy growing. <laughs>